The carbon family, uh, basically we're talking about carbon, silicon, and germanium. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about carbon now because I'll talk about when we get to organic chemistry. But depending on your definition of organic, uh, basically carbon, anything with carbon is to some degree or another organic. Uh, so essential to life. And it's pretty funny that it's true for carbon but not anything else in its family. So silicon is not essential to life. It does not, it's similar to carbon, but not essential to life in the same way. So maybe, you you know, somebody wants to write a science fiction sort of thing, like aliens from other planets, and you don't want to make them out of carbon, you want to make them out of silicon, uh, just to be a little different. But it's just essentially not going to work. Carbon-carbon bonds are extremely strong. And that makes it so useful for life. And it can form so many structures. It can form rings and uh, straight chains and branch chains. It can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, and essentially, when you get to or organic chemistry, the periodic table, which here is 112 elements, shrinks to about five elements. Um, but those five elements are pretty crazy, and they do a lot of stuff. We'll say a little bit more about that when we get to organic chemistry. Okay? Um, so I'll say more about carbon later and its uniqueness. Uh, let me say a little bit about silicon though. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, glass. Or as you're walking along the beach, sand is essentially uh, glass in a different form. That's also silica. So you got silicon all over the beaches. Uh, silicon oxide. Uh, zeolites, I mentioned one time. They're uh, silicon and oxygen and aluminum, uh, which are used uh, for that hard water exchange, ion exchange. Uh, you've got uh, another silicone. Uh, that's uh, essentially a polymer that repeats the <coughs> silicon in it. Uh, it's used in uh, oils, uh, rubber, implants, uh, other, such things like that. I always love it when people, I, I don't know if people like San Jose is in the Silicon Valley, but people say Silicon Valley. I like to say that too. Uh, there's germanium. I'm not going to say much about that, except it's very rare, and it's used in semiconductors. Uh, as well as silicon, I'm not going to talk uh, much about semiconductors, but depending on what you put, what you replace <coughs> silicon for, if it has a lack of electrons or an addition of electrons, that band gap, uh, which it has for the conductor, uh, can either be doped or removed of electrons, and, and thus we have our computers and transistors and all such things. But uh, you can look that up elsewhere, but very significant in that whole electronics uh, as well as germanium and some of those others in that area, in the semi-metals area, great for semiconductors. 